Hello and welcome to another 5 minute clip from Dynamics Consultants. Today I will demonstrate some of the features we have introduced in the Dynamics Bank Reconciliation for NAV 2013, part of our Communication Management add-on suite. Auto matching functionality has been extended to use new criteria and allow multiple criteria per bank account. For example, in this demo I will use auto matching by check number, amount and date and amount. Checks will be matched first. Next, entries will be matched based on amount and date. This is very useful for repetitive bank transactions, such as the same amount every day. To allow for inconsistencies in transaction date, the last criteria is the amount. Any entries less than matched at this stage will be matched based on amount only. Moving to the Bank Reconciliation page. The page has a new layout. We make use of .NET technology which allows for advanced sorting and filtering on both bank statement and NAV entries. Entries can be grouped by multiple columns, making it easier to visualise and find data. I will demonstrate these features by running the bank reconciliation for this account. I will input the ending balance of the statement. This is also updated automatically when the bank statement is imported. NAV entries can be created using standard functionality. To import the bank statement entries, I will use the Import Statement Lines function and select the appropriate file. At import stage, an entry type can be assigned to bank entries to make it easier to handle data. Entries can be sorted by any column, for example by statement amount or transaction date. To see only check transactions, I can apply a filter on the Type column. Running the Auto Apply function, entries are reconciled based on the criteria defined for the bank account. Matched entries are marked as reconciled. Entries not automatically reconciled can be manually processed. To easily review these, I will group the entries by the reconciled flag and expand the unchecked group on each side. I can see some bank charges amongst the statement entries. I want to reconcile these at the end, as I might need to create corresponding NAV entries. To make it easier to work with data, I will further group the statement lines by type. Expanding each subgroup in turn, I can proceed with manual applications. If two or more invoices were paid in a single bank transaction, you can select the NAV entries and the corresponding bank statement entry. Conversely, if an invoice was paid in two parts, select the bank statement lines and the corresponding NAV entry. NAV entries are all reconciled. Now, the only statement entries left to reconcile are the bank charges and interests. There are no corresponding NAV entries, therefore they need to be created. I will transfer these to the general journal. Journal lines are created. At the same time, corresponding NAV reconciliation entries are created. Next, I can post the journal. I fill in the balance and account number and post the journal. This will create general ledger entries and bank ledger entries as appropriate. When the journal is posted, the bank ledger entries are automatically applied to the NAV entries created in the previous step. All entries are now reconciled. The total balance matches the statement ending balance. The statement is ready to be posted. Thank you for your time. For more information please visit our website at www.dynamics-consultants.co.uk